I, I'm not sure you're familiar with Eric Pearl and the Reconnection. I have uh, written greatly about Eric Pearl and the Reconnection. In fact, white paper number 11 on my website mm -hmm. is the a discussion of the work I've done with Eric Pearl over the last several years. Mm. We monitor we monitor his uh, conferences. And can, can you can you just share with us his work and and um, and how it relates to what you're doing? I have developed not only a device in which we can lift the gauge symmetry state of the space, but I've developed a device where we can measure the energetic content of the space relative to normal reality as, as the space is being lifted by uh, this consciousness process. And so he heard about it and he called me um, and said, could I come and monitor one of his conferences and it was going to take place in Sedona and it was the very early days and I wasn't sure if it was a good idea but I finally said yeah okay we'll do that and it's only Sedona was just an hour and a half from, from where we are where our my lab is and so we monitored that uh, program and first thing we found was that the space was already conditioned to a higher level of reality at least six hours before the the training program started. Mm -hmm. No one, no one was there. So something had already happened, and a week after the program, that that had gone. Mm -hmm. It was back to normal reality. And when we measured the the conditioning of the space, increased slowly during the uh, the training, and the difference between the start and the peak point, and then of course it then decayed towards the end. Um, the difference is a very significant energy. Now let me give you a metaphorical way of describing it rather than a scientific term. If I, I ask myself the question, if I have a normal unconditioned space, how much would I have to heat it to get this kind of experimental result? And the answer is I would have had to have heated more than 300 degrees centigrade. That's huge. However, the temperature in the room didn't change by more than 5 to 10 degrees centigrade. And so what that indicated to me was mm -hmm. that it isn't an energy effect, it is an entropy effect. Now what that means is during the training program, the information is exchanged, information is being created. And when information is created, entropy decreases. This has been known for more than 60 years. Um, so in essence, in the process of the Eric Pearl reconnection healing, it is that people are building infrastructure into themselves. Therefore, information is growing in the universe, which means the thermodynamic entropy is decreasing, which means that nature is restoring itself. You know, the old... In fact, in the 1920s, we knew that normal entropy in, in processes of nature uh, were increasing with every process. And therefore, people were saying that eventually the universe would go cold and everything would die. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not true any longer because if you build infrastructure into people and into spaces, then information is created. And when information is created, entropy decreases, which means that we humans, by this process, are restoring information. We're restoring the thermodynamic potential of our universe. It's part of the reason, I suspect, why humans are here on this planet. In any event, we have went further in subsequent uh, reconnection healing mm -hmm. uh, processes. We have measured the space, and we find whenever the audience is paying attention to what is going on in the training program on the, on the podium, we find that the thermodynamic free energy of the space goes up in magnitude. And whenever the people are standing up and walking around and talking to each other, the thermodynamic potential goes down. And there's very little temperature change in the room, so this is basically an entropic process. We clearly see one-on-one on, one on one 
there is this change, and we can measure that change. So we have monitored five reconnection healing uh, workshops. I have lectured at three of them, the last one in uh, Amsterdam oh. uh, back, back in November. Mm -hmm. so, so in essence, that's, there, is, there is something there. And it, it is quite profound, and it, it is effective. Uh, it, it can heal all of us. All of us have this capability because the human acupuncture meridian, and we'll call it chakra system in the higher dimensional aspects of the universe, these are all at the coupled level of physical reality. So focused, sustained human intention can allow us to do all these things. Some people are more gifted than others, so some people have to work harder to develop these capabilities. Yeah. No different than sports or music or any other human gift. As we, as we get healing ourselves and as we receive that healing ourselves, by the simple yes. fact that we're healing that, does it heal something else in this? It, heal, it heals the space. It heals space. our world. Okay, there we yes. go. That's what I wanted to make sure I understood. So chemicals are going to become useless. Uh, <laughs> ultimately, yes. Yes, basically the, the, we, they don't become useless. We can manifest them ourselves. Hmm. So basically, that, that, the, ultimate, the ultimate instrument is the human. Mm -hmm. 